There's nothing scarier where I live than walking around at night, especially with a piss poor flashlight. But it's near heart attack level when you suddenly spot glowing eyes. Because seriously, we have super sketchy cougars out here. Okay, so it's Thanksgiving today, and I made myself a lay out of marigolds because, hey, you don't have to be in Hawaii to wear flowers. Anyways, it has finally stopped raining, and I'm gonna go camping for three days, and I'm quickly trying to get out of here and pack up. Best knife ever, frost. The only knife to survive with. This is what if I was going out into the wilderness, only surviving, this is all it would take. $15. Essential toilet paper. I've lived for a year and a half without this, and this goes everywhere with me now. <laughs> and last but not least, food. Fresh garden food. And for the record, this is not survival. This is Nikki's luxury camping, as you can see. Here's our little camp spot. A little cabin in here, so I thought, it, since I'm all about food today, I would camp here tonight and then go into bear country tomorrow. This shack is perfect. We got all my stuff in. Did a little cleaning. Nice, huh? And I even have a, uh, little sweater left here and I honestly think this is probably the ugliest sweater I've ever seen. How do I look at my stunning new velour sweatshirt? You find all kinds of treasures out here in the forest. A peephole in the wilderness? I don't know. That's just a little too weird. I really wish I didn't have to say this but my boat is way too close to that rock. It just keeps being pushed in by the wind. So I'm gonna have to move it across the bay. But first, it's time to pick out a dinner spot. Check these out. Gosh, I hope these things fit. Go to check. These things are awesome. Just barely. Gosh, I'm getting a whole wardrobe out here. The fine dining commences. I'm so thankful right now it's not raining. My meal is amazing. I'm having the best Thanksgiving ever. Awesome. I can't believe it. I feel like I'm at kids camp or something. It's dry, it's warm, it smells amazing in here, like cedar. I feel like I'm in a cedar sauna, except I can see my breath, so it's freezing out. <laughs> but I just love it in here. I seriously can move in here. There'd be a lot less to do, I'll tell you that much. I kind of miss living in a shack. Having a house is a huge responsibility. I am actually going to go to bed early tonight. I mean, even though it's light out, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been sleeping very much lately, as you can tell, of the bags under my eyes. So I'm gonna get a really good night's sleep and get like 12 hours in if I can. And wake up early and go track some bears tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. So like an idiot, I never moved my boat when I said I was. I had to come out here in the middle of the night. I'm coming around the island to park on the other side. And I see a pair of eyes shining at me on the beach. I'm like, oh man, that's just what I need, a cougar or something. But they were green and kind of high up, so I didn't think it was a cougar. It's a little deer. Oh, I wish you could see her just a sec. I don't know, she's maybe 20 steps away. Beautiful. That was 
so beautiful. I'm so thankful I never moved the boat earlier. We'd never have been able to see that deer. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. What a miracle. I got so close. Probably like 11 steps away. She was beautiful. And then it really started to rain hard, so I had to get the heck out of there. I just want to let you guys know that seeing a deer is super rare. I mean, this is like incredible for me. I know people live with deer and they're always in their yard and on the side of the road and big deal maybe it's just a deer. But out here, we rarely get to see them. I don't have any deer in my yard anymore. All my pets have been eaten by all the cougars. So anyways, I'm trying to get to sleep. <laughs> I was trying to get to sleep at 6.30. I think it's about 8.30 now. <laughs> so <laughs> off to bed I go. Okay, one more thing before I go to sleep. I have to apologize right now because I'm pretty sure I said we got to see the deer and you didn't. <laughs> I mean, you got to see some, you know, glowing eyes, but you didn't get to see what I saw. So I want to apologize for my crappy filming and I'll get better. Yeah, like I'm going to get 12 hours of sleep with this rain going on. <laughs> Dream on, Nikki.